What's up guys, it's very early in the morning, I know, but I am very excited. They have just recently revealed the title credit scene for Jurassic World Rebirth. If you don't know what Jurassic World Rebirth currently is, it is the seventh film in this dinosaur Jurassic explosion of a franchise. And I just want to talk about it. Also, two massive new set production images we both leaked. And I have a theory about both of them, actually. So, before we get dive right into it, hope you like and subscribe and turn on all notifications for any favourite uploads like this one. I'm going to try and keep up to date with as many things as possible. I know recently I haven't been that up to date, but I always try to be. Sometimes it just isn't the best of times. But, without doubt, let's dive right into it. Okay, so the face set production image that I found was a man holding a flare on the screen. I forgot this actor's name, but to be honest, I only care about his character in the movie. And that's the only thing that matters as of current. Guy looks like a cool actor. Stood there screaming with his flair. So I'm going to talk about what I think he's doing. So if you look behind him, there's actually a hobby behind him. What, what appears to be like a place where you leave boats. So, so I actually think that he's fending off a paleo-accurate Spinosaurus. Since so many people on X and YouTube... I've been teasing that so much. We, we're probably going to see the Spinosaurus in this film. Another one that the Gaming Beavy suggested, actually, was a Titanoboa. And recently, for people who hate snakes, a snake bigger than Titanoboa was recently discovered. And it's prehistoric too. Just a bit more recent. Its name was Vasuki. Just a name. I might make a video about it if you want me to. <coughs> Terrible cough. Wait a minute, like a 50 foot long snake. That do not make Titanobo any, more, any less formidable. It was still a, a good 12 to 14 metres in length. Though not the massive 15 that Vasuki could reach in full grown adulthood. And that's still being tested. But you know. Anyway, Titan of Boa is a really cool inclusion for the franchise, and I hope he go. I hope they go through with it. I hope they have Titan of Boa. Apparently, in the plotline, they they're going to get DNA from the three largest trash uh, dinosaurs, and I know they're not really talking about dinosaurs with two of them, but the first one is they're going to look for the largest land predator. Tyrannosaurus in this movie. So that means Tyrannosaurus might be massive to the prop plotline, unlike like what the last three movies, which has been the last two movies where it's really been sidelined. In Jurassic World they only showed it at the end, and in Dominion all it was there to do is to get beaten up by the Giga and to destroy it at the end and to appear with feathers. Yeah. No, this is just... So I'm glad that it's finally been really important in this film because a group of people are going to some main ruins to actually hunt Tyrannosaurus. Next up is the largest uh, flying predator. Now, in real life, that would be Hatsogopteryx. Not Quetzalcoatlus. Hatsogopteryx was much bulkier than Quetzal, so it's much heavier, but slightly shorty. In terms of height. So, but obviously this franchise has set up the Quetzal to be the largest creature to ever fly. So, um, unless it's Hat's Egg, I know they're lying. It's defo gonna be a Quetzal. Seeing how it was so heavily monetized in the last movie, where we actually saw it, saw it attacking uh, a plane with a group of Pteranodons and Dimorphodons following behind. So yeah, that's just really cool. 
and then they went in for the largest marine predator. Now I realised that would be Philatophagonax, or some kind of large ichthyosaur. But no, these guys want to take us back to the Mosasaurus, when there are still much more larger predators. Genuinely, I know people love Mosasaurus, but I'm getting quite sick of it. I just hate this this eyes marine reptile that's only there to finish creatures off or to get in the way of humans. Like, come on, who really asked for a Mosasaurus? But I get why a lot of people love it and its design. In terms of Mattel, I do like it's de the Mattel design for the Mosasaurus they made. So yeah, keep that going. <coughs> Film director is Gareth Edwards, and recently I've watched one of his films, Godzilla 2014. And I really enjoyed that film, because it had loads of fighting from Kaiju in it. So imagine like a Kaiju-sized Mosasaur or T-Rex, hunting them down slowly, and then this man pulls out a flare in front of a paleo-accurate spino. Another thing you uh, reference, not only a pair of Tyrannosaurs, siblings or sisters but some feathered velociraptors gigantic feathered velociraptors personally i would either have them as Denonychus, dakotaraptor utahraptor or achillobator i think achillobator is actually the best option for this film not utahraptor too massive not dakotaraptor still too massive not Deinonychus too small but a killer is just right for this film, in my personal opinion. But you know, keeping like those quills raptors, which has heavily been teased from GP3 still, they're the best raptor designs apart from the original and the new ones in the entire franchise. So I'm glad they go back to the GP3 raptors. I think this film's going to be heavily based on Jurassic Park 3 as well. Considering how much you're teasing Spinosaurus, marine reptiles, and feathered dromaeosaurs. So, yeah, I just want to know what you think. Hopefully, you enjoyed and bye. See ya. So, I just like to point out how, how great I was at predicting this film a year back. You guys said, well, not all of you guys, but some of you guys did say, no, nothing to worry about. It's in 2024 to 2025 period. The film. I mean, like, when I was creating those old Jurassic World 4 videos. But how accurate I was with the return of the Spinosaurus is unimaginable. And speaking of when I was mentioning Site C in my Indoraptor video, that could actually be in this film. This could be Site C, which we've all been waiting for for so long. And another thing, someone, one of my viewers said that Gigantopithecus should be in this film. Now, here's the thing, I love Gigantopithecus, but there's even more large apes they could have in this film. I would like to introduce you to the Dinopithecus, living with our ancient ancestry, Australopithecus. The Dinopithecus is basically a giant meat-eating baboon with a killer instinct and a bad attitude. Now that's what I call fears. But anyway, moving on. Again, time to finish off the video. But uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And I just have another feeling that from the original Jurassic Park movie, Lex and Tim might actually be making a return. I think that might happen. Those are some of my and my viewers' theories. Hopefully you enjoyed and bye, see ya.